Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and I'm here to give my WrestleMania 33 predictions. Super excited, honestly. I know a lot of people, you know, looking at the card are disappointed, frustrated, pissed off, and I can agree with, you know, how all of those people feel. Uh, but I think if you're a wrestling fan, when WrestleMania comes around, you get excited. Even if it's for a small moment, even if it's for something simple, like one of your favorite guys winning a battle royal or something, you get excited. And they always have some big, big moments that uh, usually we remember for a very long time. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. We got 13 matches on the card, which is, I think, one more than last year. And uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know I talk a lot during predictions videos. So I'm going to try to go through it pretty quick. So for the first pre-show match, we got the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. I'm just going to pick three winners just because, you know, I think that'd be easier. But whatever. It doesn't matter. If my second winner wins, I won't be like I called it. But uh, number one, I'm going to go with Braun Strowman to win it. Number two, Sami Zayn for a big underdog win. And number three, if he's even in it, Samoa Joe. And if I had to go for a four guy, if he was in it, Luke Harper. Uh, but I definitely would pick Braun Strowman. But I would love, love, love to see Sami Zayn eliminate Braun to, to win it. That'd be amazing. But uh, Next, for the Cruiserweight Championship, we got Neville versus Austin Aries. I'm very sad this is on the pre-show, but I think Austin Aries uh, put it perfectly when he tweeted, uh, saying something along the lines of, you know, if they when they put him on the card, no matter what plays, they want that spot of the match to be to be like better so if they put him on the pre-show they want the pre-show to be better and something to look forward to and that's what Austin Aries can do and I think a lot of people are really excited for this match even though it's on the pre-show so I'm gonna actually have Austin Aries winning the Cruiserweight Championship uh, on the pre-show next the main card because apparently the women's championship match the six-pack challenge for Smackdown uh, was moved off the pre-show apparently WWE has uh, listed it on the main card for their website so uh, Alexa Bliss will be defending her championship against Mickey James, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Carmella, and the uh, returning Naomi. I hope this is a really fun match, honestly, and I'm going to actually pick Mickey James to get the win, to have uh, maybe one last reign as champion. Next, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are defending their tag titles in a ladder match against Sheamus and Cesaro and uh, Enzo and Big Cass. I'm going to say Enzo and Big, Big Cass get the win. Uh, they've never won tag team gold. They didn't even win it in NXT, so I think this is going to be their big moment. I might be picking too many people winning the titles instead of just people retaining them, but I think Enzo and Big Cass have this one in the bag. Next, we got Dean Ambrose defending his Intercontinental Championship against Baron Corbin. This might be a forklift match. No, not really, but they've been doing a lot of forklift stuff, so... Um, I'm just going to say Baron Corbin wins it. I, I'm not really like that interested in this match, but maybe it surprises me. I, I, I hope it does. Next, John Cena and Nikki Bella versus Miz and Maurice. The promos and build for this match have been really, really good. Like, really awesome. Miz and Maurice have been fantastic. Super Cena always coming in with great promos, I think, when the timing is right. But I don't think this match is going to be as good because I don't think it's going to live up to the promos. Because the promos have been amazing, but... You know, Maurice, Nikki Bella, you know, Miz, John Cena. That doesn't exactly seem like a five-star rating match. I'm going to go with John Cena and Nikki Bella to, of course, win it. And John Cena probably proposes to her after. Chris Jericho defends his United States Championship against Kevin Owens. I have high hopes for this match as well. I'm going to go with Kevin Owens to win the United States Championship and destroy his former best friend, Chris Jericho. For the Raw Women's title, we got Bayley defending against Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Nia Jax in an elimination match. This is tough. I really did not know how to book this, honestly. I would think Nia, J Nia Jax would win it, but then I think they'll have one of those moments where they all hit their finishers on her and then eliminate her. You know, like a, it'll be a big moment in the match. So I'm going to say Bailey retains, but I could see Sasha winning it and turning heel. Maybe something along those lines. But I say maybe Bailey retains and then Sasha attacks her after the match. I don't know. But next. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. This, I think, will be the best match on the card. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, and I think this is a match people are kind of forgetting because it's not like a title or something. I'm going to have AJ Styles win it, but I'm going to have Shane McMahon jumping off something insane. So I'm going to have AJ Styles win it, though. Seth Rollins versus Triple H in a non-sanctioned match. I believe we'll see Sledgehammers. I believe we'll see Samoa Joe help on the behalf of Triple H. I'll, I believe we'll see Sami Zayn help Rollins. I'm going to go with Rollins winning it. If Triple H wins it, would not be surprised one bit. But I'm going to have Seth Rollins winning this. The Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. 
I just hope this is a good match. I hope it's fun. I'm going to pick The Undertaker to win. I might cry if Roman Reigns wins. Not because I don't like him, because I do like the guy, and I, I, I think he gets a lot of hate for stupid reasons. But The Undertaker, please win this. For the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, Bray Wyatt defending against Randy Orton. I'm just going to go with Bray Wyatt. I don't, I don't see if Orton winning, honestly. Um, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. I do think this match will be the main event, and it'll probably be not as good as we're hoping for, but maybe the prediction should be how long the match is. Should I even go 8 minutes? Maybe 10? Maybe. Maybe 15 if they're lucky. If they just do, like, outside stuff. But I'm going to have Brock actually win it, which is kind of disappointing because I could care less where the Universal title goes no matter who wins because if it goes with Goldberg, you know, we're just going to see him at pay-per-views. If it goes with Brock, he might do live events, but, you know, it's a part-timer as champ and that always sucks, I think. Or it's it's not as fun, but... I'm going to have Brock Lesnar with destroying Goldberg and winning it. Maybe he does a spear. Maybe he does a jackhammer to Goldberg, picks him out, F5, wins it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 rocks Let me know your predictions down below in the comment section. The Hall of Fame is tonight. Let me know if you're watching. I probably won't watch it, but you know, let me know some good moments. Thank you so much for watching. As always, have a great day.